Hey, gang. Welcome to my life where anything is possible and nothing is as it seems. I'm Freedom, and I'll be your host, coming at you from within the depths of Geistopia. Welcome to my life is a project, an experiment in life and art, a living storyboard, if you will. Its premise is that life is experiential and that you can and do experience the life you choose. It is based on the use of the Wheel of Life and the Arts for the New Millennium as life-building tools. It's true. Welcome to My Life is an ITV Studios Geist House Players production in association with the Center for Creative Inspirationalism. Just Us Productions, the parent company, would like to give a shout out to everyone, because you rock, and of course a very generous sponsor who not so much wishes to remain anonymous. It is. I really don't know. Monday. I really don't know. March 15th, 2020 fun. Time. Very difficult. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Where, 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 oh, where has my little freedom gone? Oh, where, oh, where has he gone? Uh, so, hi, hey. Uh, here we are. Uh, it, <laughs> here we are. I don't know. I don't know why. Hi, hey. Uh, I'm kind of at a loss, really. Uh, so, I, I don't know. I was just kind of sitting here, chilling, zenning, doing my thing. And, uh could not, could not, one more time for good measure, could not uh, just shake the vibe that I needed to video. I don't know what, because I really don't know what to say. Uh, there were so many thoughts, but I was having a particularly peaceful, zen, connected little, I don't know how long it lasted, maybe 10 minutes. Mm, I just kind of felt one with everything that was cool enjoyed that right and uh, I, I was thinking on the whole thing that I blogged about about like a place like it, it's got to be it's got to be time I can't imagine that it's not because I just no matter what I do I can't continue to do it like this and chasing the and chasing the money has not helped. Da? Eh, eh, eh. So all I can really do, Robin's Robin's everywhere. Do, 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 do. Mr. Goodfellow. Uh all I can really do, you know what I mean, is turn it over to God and just be like, look, and, and every act of magic comes with a price. Daddy? Uh, <laughs> and it's true, it's true. Every act of magic, every wish, every prayer, we don't realize it, but we bargain so much away in the process. What's nice is when you become aware, you can begin to understand the bargains that you make. Kind of, not really, a little, but you know. Uh, with great power comes great responsibility. All I know, all I really, I, all I, I don't know shit. I don't know shit. I've got nothing, nothing. I, I, I know nothing. How do any of us ever, ever think we know? But I'm vibing on a lot. <laughs> I'm vibing on, uh, on a lot right now. And uh, 
big shift. And I do think there's a big shift for me. Like I said, like I can. I can. I can be of absolutely no good to anyone much longer like this. I'm not going to be able to continue at the diner the way I am in any fashion like this because I'm not getting (coughs) relief from my body or or even my soul, really. You know what I mean? And I'm not able to take care of myself or my clothes or anything the way I really need to in order to do the job. I can't... I can't do much for my children like this. I can't do the works God is apparently putting before me like this. I can scrape and scrounge and how that changes, I don't know. I got nothing. I don't know. I know it must, though, to some degree, in some way, shape, or form. Something's got to give because I am becoming useless. I know who I am and I know what I can do. By God, I would like to do it now. Sometimes you just got to air them out. Just let let them all out. (laughs) Oh, God. Uh, So I don't know. I don't know. I was trying to vibe in on that place. Uh, I can, it's weird. I can kind of see it and not. I can kind of feel it and not. And I'm in the in-between, so I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. So all I've got is be where you're at. And that's what I tried to do today. So I'm going to try to do tomorrow. My next three days are my crazy days. Like once it starts, it's just going to be until it's over. And it's going to hurt till it's done. It's uh, 2 to 9, 8 to 8, 7 to 2. So like a 48-hour run-up. <laughs> However, tomorrow morning, uh, before work, I will probably put a good eight hours in because I wanted to go and try to do some gigs. Why the hell not? Because I need to also run to the bank. So as long as I'm running down that way, I think there are gigs. I'm usually up early enough in the morning. It'll give me something to do. And uh, go to the bank, do hit the store. I got to get gas. I got to stop at the cave and pick up some mail. Domestic relations. I knew that clock was ticking. Uh, And that's why I kind of chilled today. Because I knew tomorrow I wanted to. And I am going to continue to chill. I ain't got nothing really planned or going on. I'm going to grab some dinner. I think I am doing my gym routine tonight so that it's done and I am fresh and ready. Like earlier today, I organized all my clothes for like the next three days so that I don't have to dig for anything or look for anything. I got everything right here. Boom, boom, boom. Go, right? Uniforms, clothes in between, gym clothes, whatever, whatever. Whatever, 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 whatever. Uh... Real quick, because I am just about to that limit. Uh, I, I was thinking too about like cutting back on hours at the diner, and I keep finding myself well going going well. Like, but it's money I can make, <coughs> right? Like, because there's always more. Like, child support, the car, insurance. I need to get caught up on all of them and then maintain them all at the same time. I've got to get the van tasm fixed. A couple of odd jobs here and there. Some more minor. And imperative than others, but all that need to get done. And uh, <laughs> I owe this person, and I owe that person, and I'm just trying to maintain my life. It's just this slow process, and there's so much, and I keep going well, but I can work, and I'm still wanting to chase that money. And it's funny because, like, woo-woo. I also can't be of any use to anybody if I continue to work 
the six days. I'm going to break myself. And so I got to, I have to step back. Don't chase the money. Don't chase the money. But it's like, it's like my cigarette addiction. It's like, I wouldn't know what to do with myself if I weren't chasing the money because there's a reason to, right? So that's all I've got for right now. I think those are all the random thoughts. Uh, if you're not already there, please go to the Welcome to My Life Facebook page, WTML, or you can also find me on Facebook under rep.spacematt. You can continue to follow us right here on the YouTube channel, Welcome to My Life 8, or you can check that blog that appears at the bottom of the screen in the beginning of the video wherever you are and whenever you are please like comment and share we are on a journey my friends and it takes everyone to get there so without hesitation for now and for always from here in geistopia this is your beloved rev saying stay tuned in fellow travelers and wishing you peace love light and freakishness baby